Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the bridge design pattern. So let's get started. Bridge design pattern is a part of a structural design pattern and it will help us to create a structure for our different classes. Now how bridge pattern is useful. Now whenever we are working with a huge classes and a huge subsets of classes and at that time if you want to divide in two separate hierarchies for the abstraction and the implementation at that time we can use the bridge design pattern i know the definition is quite confusing so let's understand with example so let's take the example and understand how the bridge pattern is helpful for us so let's take the example of a video and video processing so in the youtube as well you can see the video in the netflix you can see the videos so let's take that example so currently you can see i have the video object here video class and this video class you can see i can divide into multiple classes suppose i can say this is a youtube video i can say this is a netflix video and within the youtube and netflix you have different options as well you can play the video in hd 4k 8k same with netflix as well okay so what you will do is if you want to have that functionality you will create the subclasses subtypes of that as well so you can create youtube with hd you can create youtube with 4k you can create youtube with 8k similarly you can create netflix with 4k and netflix with 8k so you can see that by just adding the different type you are exponentially increasing the subclasses suppose now if you are introducing the prime video as well so for that as well you will be adding the different subclasses like prime video hd prime video 4k prime video 8k and so on so you can see that whenever you are onboarding anything you are creating a huge list of subclasses so that is not ideal you are just creating the classes exponentially so what we can do to avoid that okay so at that time bridge pattern comes into picture so what bridge pattern will allow us to do is it will allow us to convert this entire is a relationship right this is the entire is a relationship that is the inheritance right it will allow us to convert this entire into a composition that is a has a relationship so let's understand how this entire thing can be converted into the has a relationship so let's take the example here okay so what i will have is i will have the video here okay video class and this video class will have youtube here and it has netflix here okay you can see that we have the simple hierarchy and if i want i can add the prime video as well here so you can see that i have the standard classes over available here and now what i want to do is i want to separate out the hierarchy right because i want to convert the inheritance into the composition relationship so what i will do is rather than creating the hd youtube 4k youtube and similarly i will create the processing classes separately and i will create a has a relationship so here you can see that i can completely create a new hierarchy that is the video processor and this video processor you can see it has hd processor it has 4k processor it has 8k processor it can have hdr whatever it is okay so you can see that we have this processing available that's a video processor now what we will do is we will have the composition relationship okay for this video that this video will contain the video processor okay so now video will have the relationship with the video processor that video will contain the video processor so whenever we want to create the processing for a different pipeline for the different types of videos we can do similarly like for a youtube video i can have the object of a video processor and i can create youtube video with hd youtube video with 4k youtube video with 8k similarly youtube video with hdr as well similarly for netflix as well i can do the same thing netflix hd netflix 4k netflix 8k similarly netflix hdr as well so you can see that i am not creating the complete hierarchy but i have the two separate hierarchy and i can create the objects which has the contains relationship okay so whenever i want to create the object that netflix object with the 4k i can create it easily so this is the general idea about the bridge design pattern as this video processor which is the instance available within this video will work as a bridge between that and the video processor okay so that's why this is known as a bridge design pattern because it's working as a bridge to have the different of the video classes itself okay like video hd 4k 8k and hdr similarly others as well now this is the simplest example that i have shown you when you go through online you will get a more complex examples as well okay but if you want to understand the theoretical part as well i will include the theoretical part in my code as well okay so let's understand with the code so if we go to the intellij idea here okay this is the bridge pattern this will be available in the repository 
and if you go to the main method you can see that entire documentation entire theoretical part i have mentioned here okay and i've also mentioned from where i have taken the references so you can go through their websites and you can support them as well so all this implementation all these details are available here let's understand with the video here how this will work so whatever we explained here whatever we understood here the similar thing we have created here as well so you can see that we have the video interface created abstract class sorry so you can see this video class this is the hierarchy one and video processor this is the hierarchy two so if you go to the video processor here right this is the another interface and this is the separate hierarchy so video is one hierarchy and video processor is another hierarchy and you can see that multiple hierarchies we can use using the composition relationship so that's the idea here so within this video class you can see that i have the object of a video processor okay and within the constructor you can see that i am taking the video processor object and assigning the value here so for this video i have the processor and i have the abstract method play which will take a video file and it will play it based on the video processor that we have okay so suppose this video have the hd processor then it will be playing hd if we, this video has the 4k processor it will play in 4k if it is 8k it will play in 8k similarly now from this video okay we have different classes created so here you can see that we have a netflix video which is extending video and it has a constructor and it is calling the method play that this play method will be called and processor dot process it will call okay similarly if you go to the youtube video youtube video is also extending video and it has a constructor which is taking the video processor and it is implementing this play method okay so you can see that whatever we have defined here in the video that play method we are defining now if you go to the video processor okay it has a process method so this video processor is been implemented by hd processor you can see that hd processor is implementing video processor and it has the method implemented that is the process similarly if we go here uhd 4k processor it is implementing video processor and it is also implementing the process method okay so now whenever i want to call a method call this object so if i go to the main it's simple you can see that i want a youtube video so i've just created the object video youtube video equals to new youtube video because i want youtube video and we have to pass the processor which processor i'm passing the hd processor so this object you can see that it will play youtube video in hd and if i call youtube video dot play and the file this will be played as hd video similarly if i see you can see netflix video is there that i am creating the netflix video object with the 4k processor okay and now whatever the video this will be played it will be played in the 4k so you can see that we just converted the huge subclass library exponential classes into two different hierarchies and converted into has a relationship now only two small hierarchies we have and we can create endless number of permutations and combinations to create the different